Hey guys, Tyler here from the Jump Dash Nerd Podcast. I'm here to live react to today's Nintendo Indie World Showcase plus Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. It's a mouthful right there. Uh, yeah, I'm here to live react to it. It's uh, a little early on the Tuesday morning. Uh, started a little bit ago. Had to go get myself a Starbucks coffee. So hopefully that's pretty good. If you hear my birds in the background, I do apologize. They're going a little wild right now. It's morning time. They're pretty excited. Um, they gave them some mellet, so they're, they're pretty pumped about it. But anyways, um, we're here to live react to it. Um, hopefully it'll be a good show. Hopefully we get some Silk Song. Uh, but um, Hi everyone, yeah. oh, and we welcome to Indie yeah, World. Captions. I'm Amber. And I'm no, no Andrew. Captions. We're back with more indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. All right, it's time to lay our cards on the table. Sure Please like, follow, subscribe. Wait, why is there a Joker in my hand? Here's the deal. Palatro? No. I hate portals. Oh, oh. <gasps> That's cool. Good for him. Good for that. Good for that guy, man. He's just killing it. One dude making one of the best games of the year. Vampire Survivors Two. This is a good start. Let's make me want to go back to Vampire Survivors. That was an addiction for a long time for me. This is awesome. I, I just love like indie indie games. Is, oh, shit, this is what the fuck. I love it when indie teams just get together. Man, I want to play this game so bad, but I know it's gonna become a problem for me if I do. This might be the thing that pushes me over. Oh, today? Okay. This is just the start. Hola, som Nova d'Estudio, l'equip de Rere de Gris, i ara el pròxim joc, Neva. <gasps> Neva? És una història Are we getting a date? On els jugadors assumeixen el rol de l'Alba. Començaran la seva aventura al costat d'una petita lloba anomenada Neva. Oh my God. Els capítols inicials del joc mostraran com l'Alba haurà d'encoratjar i protegir una jove Neva dels perills del seu món. Però al final del joc, una Neva més gran i ferotge es convertirà en la protectora de la seva figura materna, l'Alba. El equipo Please give me a date. ha estado trabajando duro para mostrar una conmovedora perspectiva sobre cómo quienes nos protegen eventualmente necesitarán nuestro cariño y cuidados también. Estamos encantados de poder compartir las últimas novedades del juego y esperamos que os unáis a Alba y Neva en su aventura okay. en Nintendo Switch. Okay. New trailer. Fuck yeah, let's go. Oh man, this game's going to destroy me emotionally and I'm here for it. God damn. Oh man, right there. Hit me right there. Okay, perfect timing too. Perfect, good time for me personally. Not a lot coming out for me around that point. So, October fifteenth, let's fucking go. Buying that as soon as it goes for pre-order. They got a cute little plushies. I'm gonna buy those too. Crawl your way up the corporate ladder of a bizarre insect megacorp that's buzzing with mysteries. In this surreal RPG, you'll take on the role of Moth Cubit, an ordinary employee who's recently received a promotion. But this is no time to celebrate. <laughs> The threat of a mysterious event known as the final process is looming. Can Moth and his fellow bugs save the company? Or even reality itself? As you investigate the cramped cubicles and creepy corridors of the corporation, you'll befriend bugs from all walks of life, each with a story that's interwoven with Moth. Not everyone will be friendly, though. Take on enemies in verbal showdowns with what multiple dialogue choices and be sure to bring your fighting words. Your choices influence I'm, how the story progresses. I'm there loving this. Secrets, quests, and endings to unravel. So but experiment I, and see what happens. I'm loving everything I'm seeing. Moth I just don't know if I'm going to love this game. Buzzes onto Nintendo Switch spring 2025. Spring. Okay, so spring 2026. I'll be hey there guys. for it when it comes out. We're AJ and Dio from Tokyo Productions in Indonesia. We're part of Coffee Talk team. And with our much missed friend and the original creator, Fahmi, we created oh, Coffee yes. Talk and Coffee Talk episode okay, two. Yeah. Hey everyone, 
I'm Anna Winterstein, a game designer and a writer. I was the co-writer of Coffee Talk Hibiscus and Butterfly, alongside Junkie at Toge. Hi, I'm Hikata Ogawa, a writer and uh, English to Japanese games translator. I had the privilege to work on the Japanese translations of both Coffee Talk games. Today, we are thrilled to announce that we are partnering with Colors to expand the Coffee Talk world. We've been hard at work over the last year to come up with a story that retains the cozy elements Coffee Talk fans are fond of, but at the same time, brings something new to the table. And now, we're very proud to announce an exciting new game for Coffee Talk fans. Coffee, Coffee Talk, Talk Tokyo! Tokyo. Huh. I don't know much about those games. I just know that I know they got a following. It's not a me game. Man, I'm still buzzing from Neva. That was awesome. October 15th. That's a really good one. We're only like, I don't know, five minutes in. <laughs> still got like another 35 to go. There is a section of an audience out there that is loving this right now. Um, it is just not a... These are not for me. These games are really hard, I think, to uh, kind of show off to. It's like strategy games sometimes. Now brewing. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> like an old grizzled detective. Let's check out some upcoming downloadable content that will take you to new and unexpected places. Okay. Sea of Stars? Discover a miniature clockwork world in the Sea of Stars through wow. the Watchmaker DLC. That's awesome. Gear up for a journey full of oddities and wonders in which Valir and Zale will have to play by new rules to put a stop to a cursed carnival. Zale will transform into a skillful juggler, while Valir will dazzle as an acrobat. Together with new playable character Artie, they'll explore <laughs> new areas and battle through dangerous dungeons in their quest to save the world of Orlidge. A malevolent spectacle awaits when this free DLC for Sea of Stars launches on Nintendo Switch next spring. Awesome. Hey, get out of my swamp! Sorry, Shrek? Remember, but Is it Shrek? Oh! Has layers of dirt that <laughs> That's awesome! Away. Ugh, fine, I'm ogre it anyway. A muddy good time awaits in the Shrek Special Pack paid DLC for Power Wash Simulator. That's awesome. Feel I might have to go check us out now. As you wash away the grime covering five fairy tale maps from the Shrek universe, <laughs> including Shrek's very own swamp and the Dragon's Lair. Don a shiny suit of armor with a new night-themed character model and get your power washing game on when the Shrek Special Pack DLC makes a splash on the Nintendo Switch system this fall. I'm glad Shrek is relevant like 20 years Hi, later. I'm Sam, and I'm Toby. Our team has been Ooh, working on a new cat. game called Morsels. You play as a mouse fighting against the forces of wicked cats, using magical cards to transform into a bunch of weird little monsters. It's a challenging roguelike set in a grungy, whimsical world. When I first fetched Morsels four years ago, it was a simple top-down shooter, which is a genre I love. Since then, with the help of Sam and our programmer Higgy, we've been able to turn it into something much cooler than that. What does Peppa do? I hope when people play Morsels, they enjoy the frenetic action, but are also charmed by the game's personality. Please enjoy the first ever trailer for our strange little game. Thank you. Okay, if it's Annapurna, it's gonna be at least good. Annapurna, don't miss. Jeez. Ooh. Is that a, is a mouse? Now you're hurt. What the fuck? Okay. Alright, so this is gonna be a roguelike, it looks like here. Can you fly? What the fuck is happening?
What? <laughs> Turn the frog over there for a second. All right, this looks awesome. Oh, please be out like now. It's probably 2025, but this looks great. Morsels. Okay, I need to write that down because that's that's uh, that's that's on the list now. February. That's fine. February's got impact. Got avowed in a uh, uh, bloom and rage, but that's fine. I'll, I'll find time for it. And that's especially true for this next game. That's right. Household objects, appliances, and even concepts turn into eligible love interests in Date Everything. A game in which you can, in fact, date pretty much everything. Oh, fuck yeah. With I... 100 dateable characters, there are plenty of I thought you were going to be able to date objects. I was like, let me look at that toilet. Fall madly in love with Cabrizio the cabinet. Become besties with Shelly the shelf. Or come to despise Doug. <laughs> Your uh, overwhelming sense of existential dread. What's up, Doug? Um, I think I'll pass on Doug. Can I fall in love with a lamp? No way. Lux the Ever lamp is all mine. Fitch bottle right there, Doug. you could even date the game itself? Hmm? Why don't I introduce you to Textbox Chan? So I Engage in can date the toilet. Engage dialogue with these fully voiced characters as you get to know them and form meaningful relationships. Man, what a jolly time this is. I'm having a good time. This is great. I drive as quick as my whip. Bring your best dating game because your choices could result not just in love, but also in friendship. Or even disdain. <laughs> is that the Find hamper? The object of your affection when date everything launches on Nintendo okay. Switch October I'm not gonna play that game, but I love that trailer. That's not a me game at all, but that looks that looks like Hi, really I'm fun. I'm Sienna, the lead artist on Peglin. And I'm Dylan. The game designer of Peglin and the founder of Red Nexus Games. All right, I love the shirt already. The two of us created the first version of Peglin at a game jam in 2019. Awesome. The theme of the jam was fall, and we wanted to create something fun and physics-y. We ended up creating the first version of Peglin's battle system. When the pandemic started, working on Peglin became a fun and creative escape. We made cute places and enemies for our little goblin friend to explore. We then added two of our friends to help speed up development, and now four years later, we're a team of seven, and we're excited to bring Peglin to Nintendo Switch. The dragons have been stealing oh, your hell yeah. for as long as you can okay. remember. It's Peggle. It's time to delve Let's into the heart go. of their lair I miss and Peggle. exact your revenge with the power of pegs. In this roguelike pachinko-inspired RPG, you'll aim orbs and hit pegs to deal damage in turn-based battles. Man. Okay. The more pegs I'm loving everything hit, except for the more devastating the blow you'll deal to your enemies. Jesus. Bounce your way to victory with a variety of different orbs. I love this. Some can split into multiple copies. Others will pierce both pegs and enemies. And some will even heal you for every peg you hit. The pegs themselves have some peculiar properties too. They can explode, help you unlock the critical power of your orbs, and more. With careful planning and aiming, you can create some spectacular combos. Relics will radically change your game, too. Huh. Equip these rare passive power-ups to prevent lethal damage or turn pegs into bombs. Just to name a few. Each run oh. presents new opportunities for possible yeah, combinations. Ball going there? Teach those dragons a lesson when Peglin bounces onto Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive later today. All right. I might just pick it up today. I might maybe I'll just wait. I don't know. Find out how long the delay is. The other consoles, maybe. Okay. Buy a house. All right. I can't think of the name of the game. Like Party Animals, the like the battle game with like eight people and it has a weird, you know, the physics like this. It's like this, but they turned it into like a a single player game. December wobbly life. All right, that's kind of cool. Okay, follow my lead and watch out for the caterpillar. We're doing great so far. It's like hey, careful. Chained together. 
<laughs> Oops. Let's no try this again. Is that a platformer? Scoot. 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 Good thing we're tied together. Look, a key. Let's grab it. Hey, don't jump on my head. Let I'm me... going in. Oh. All right, let's slow it down. And jump. Got it. Yay. We make a great team. Now let's try it with eight players. Huh? Oh, boy. As you can see, cooperation is key in this puzzle platformer. Up to eight players need to work together to navigate levels full of ledges, cliffs, and other obstacles. Use strategic stacking, coordinated movement, and puzzle solving skills to find all the keys and reach every level's exit. Huh. There are more than 60 levels, and each one can be completed no matter how many players you have on your side. Think it'll be a walk in the park? Think again. Even greater challenges await in dark mode, where <laughs> your skills and your friendships will be put to the ultimate test. Get Ooh. ready for multiplayer mischief when Pico Park 2 jumps on Nintendo Switch as cool. a time console exclusive. Is that like online Later play? Today. Can't get enough indies? Here are some more titles headed to the Nintendo Switch system in the near future. Oh, we have the part of one after this too. It's crazy. Shovel Knight? 2025, what is... Oh, okay. I love that game. You, you hope it? Yes! October 11th, let's go. I love it. Oh man, it's four days before fucking never. Damn. Too many games. Too many games. First world problem. I'm really excited for that Europa. It looks great. I don't have a date for this one. Okay. For some reason, I thought I, Metal Slug's tactics, I thought it was out already. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Forgot about this. Man, uh. Man. September, October, November. Man, it's packed. A lot going on. Too much. Okay. That's all for today's show. Hey. Oh, where'd you get that Guys. pizza? I found it in that tower over there. Pizza what tower? Tower. I've heard a bunch about this game. I don't think I ever actually. This is the first time I think I've actually ever seen this game before. Actually, it's pretty pretty fucking rad. Awesome. A lot of, a lot of uh, shadow drops today. Kind of feel bad for some of these, actually. There's like four of them in here. That's all for today's Indie Plus, yeah, World. Plus, the update. We hope you enjoyed today's showcase. As always, a big thank you to our indie community and partners making games for Nintendo Switch. Follow our official Indie World account to stay up to date on all things indie on the Nintendo Switch system. Stick around for more exciting news and Isn't updates right in this? today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase, right, like starting right now. Until next time, happy, happy gaming. gaming! Really weird they're doing this together. I think you just called it like the Partner Showcase or something. I don't know why they're... Oh, whatever, man. I'm down for it. Let's go. Everyone, 
Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching in the second half of 2024 from our publishing and development partners. Okay, let's get into the headlines. Let's go. These games are falling into place. Tetris. Celebrate the 40th anniversary of Tetris. Is this coming to compilation of historic okay. games? Experience the 1988 Famicom version of Tetris. Maybe this is coming to like the online, into the online service. Chain combos using explosions in Tetris 2 plus Bombless. Use special moves to win in Tetris Battle Guided. And more in this interactive museum, Super including Bombless? the games shown here. Tetris? I haven't even heard of like half of these. In addition, enjoy the brand new Tetris Time Warp, where you'll jump between gameplay styles from across the series. Oh, that's cool. You can also watch new documentary clips about the history of Tetris and its key players. Okay. Uh, Tetris can I, Forever. Drops can I just pay for that? Nintendo Switch system this year. I kind of want to just pay. I just want to watch that. Plus, oh, okay. the NES version of Tetris cool. is coming to Nintendo Switch Online this winter. This, okay. And be on the lookout so for December. Tetris 99 Maximus Cup event, also coming this winter. Huh. Speed into the unknown. Journey to the galaxy's depths in this high-speed sci-fi adventure. After receiving a mysterious distress signal, you'll venture through a massive alien world to reunite with your beloved. Ride the stylish hoverboard to explore stunning landscapes filled with all sorts of alien structures. Huh. From scorching sands to wavy waters, each area will like challenge your traversal skills. No Man's Along Sky way, visuals. You'll almost. face enemies in frenetic melee combat. Okay. By unlocking skills and combining different abilities, you can find more creative ways to overcome foes. You can also customize the hoverboard to match your riding style, solve puzzles, and gather resources to boost its speed, steering, gravity, and more. Whether you're racing through terrain at high speeds or in the throes of combat, the hoverboard will be there to help you. Leave no stone unturned as you explore every corner of this vast planet. You never know what or who you'll find. Star Overdrive launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo okay, Switch looks pretty cool. next year. Do whatever floats oh, your go, goat. Go similar remastered. Welcome to the vast island of San Angora, where you'll take on the oh, role three. Oh, three. Oh, okay. Goat. I didn't You're realize three wasn't already on here. In this sprawling sandbox adventure, you'll headbutt, lick, and explode your way across the island. Wreak havoc on anything and everything you find. Want to drive around town? I think I put a remaster on the, the Switch too. Antagonize the locals. You can do all of that and more. Complete quests and gain karma to progress the story and unlock customization options. From fashionable nonsense like floral shirts and inflatable tubes to goat variants, including <laughs> tall, angry, and even tasty goats. So buckle up and grab your fashion style by the horn. Fucking is that a hammerhead and shark on a skateboard? Only belligerent Billy around here. Unleash all sorts of bad mischief in two-player online or couch co-op. Hope you're ready to hoof it because the digital version of Goat Simulator 3 rams its way onto Nintendo eShop later okay. today. Man. The physical version of the game launches on Nintendo Switch this November. A lot of games coming out today. Here's a rapid fire mix of first reveals and game updates coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay. Legends of Heroes. All right. I think we've seen this before. All these games just kind of blend in after a while. I wonder how this game is doing. Stalker is coming. The older ones are coming to Switch. Okay. All right, cool. Make the 
Bikini Bottom, your playground. All right. Is this a new game? I don't know much, but SpongeBob is not a me thing. I was a SpongeBob? Saved by the Bell millennial, no. so I didn't see. I didn't watch SpongeBob. Patrick. The silly sea star from SpongeBob SquarePants stars in this physics-based sandbox adventure. That's cool. So it's Bikini like a Bottom code simulator, but SpongeBob makes some hilarious mayhem by performing whimsical skydives, digging up treasure in the dump, or even blowing off steam in Mrs. Puff's rage room. Experiment with items you find. There's more franchises Sporting don't do this. To paint tubes to make the world more Patrick-y. Uh, and he's not the only familiar face here. Take on comical challenges from SpongeBob, Sandy, Squidward, and more. Buckle up. <laughs> That's voice acting. That's cool. Hey, you turned out the lights. Step into Patrick's shorts and the inner machinations of his mind. When SpongeBob SquarePants, the Patrick Star Game, launches on Nintendo Switch October 4th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Outright games, that's not good, is it? I think they're the, the really bad ones. Very own personal trainer. Okay, let's get started. Ready. One, two, jump. The latest entry in the fitness boxing series is punching its way onto Nintendo Switch. Newly added features make it easier to train more regularly. Use Quick Workout to jump into an exercise program right after launching the game. I wonder how good these things sell. They must do decently well if they keep making them. With mitt drills, you'll practice with your instructor at your own pace. Looking good. And in sit fit boxing, you can complete exercise programs while seated for a different training experience. 30 brand new songs are included. There are also six instructors, including two new ones. Plus, you can change their hairstyles. This is like just dance Let them all over again. You as you work toward your goals. Nice. Fitness Boxing 3, your personal trainer, launches on the Nintendo Switch system December 5th. This is going to be a match to remember. Is this? Eight Capcom fighting games are brawling their way oh. onto Nintendo Switch in one collection. Wait. Here's the complete roster of games. Is this a different one? Capcom versus SNK Millennium Fight 2000 Pro. Oh, we have the Capcom versus So we have a Marvel versus Capcom and then a Capcom fighting collection? Project Justice. Where's Gable's at? He's probably freaking out right now. Capcom Fighting Evolution. Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper. Plasma Sword. Nightmare of Pilsen. Yeah, G Gables is freaking out right now. Power Stone. And Power Stone 2. Are we going to get a release date for this before we get the Marvel vs. Capcom release date? Own training mode and is playable online. Cool. You can also visit the museum to enjoy artwork and music from each game. Capcom Fighting Collection 2 oh, launches on right. Nintendo Switch next okay. year. Plus, jump into the fray. When oh, here it is. Do we release Capcom it now? Fighting Collection Arcade Classics Hyper combos its way onto Nintendo Switch September 12th. Wow. Digital, Digital pre version. orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. The Where? physical version of the game launches on Nintendo Switch November 22nd. Whoa. Ooh. Next, please take a that look at sucks. this. That sucks. <laughs> I mean, get, trying to double dip on people. But. Like a waifu 
今日はそうただのご挨拶ですともこれが私の全力どうか真相を解き明かしてあっティリアルアティリアルユミアドナム Not gonna lie, spaced out entirely during that thing. Atelier? Okay. Alright, let's see some more headlines. Adventures and allies await in these Nintendo Switch games. Is that Lego Horizon? HD remasters of the first two Suikoden games are coming to Nintendo Switch in one bundle. Meet and befriend up to 108 allies in these turn based RPGs. During your travels, you can strengthen your home base and expand your spheres of influence while fighting for your cause. This collection adds new support features like the ability to speed up combat and automate battles with a single button. Suikoden 1 and 2 HD Remaster, Gate Rune, and Dunan Unification Wars launches on Nintendo Switch March 6th, 2025. Cool. The HD 2D remake of Dragon Quest 3 draws near. After gathering your companions and selecting their vocations, I think we, we already have a date for this one. Isn't it like November? Their appearance, voice, and more. Pretty sure it's at the, the new direct in June, if I remember correctly. You can use monster like abilities to fight enemies and heal allies. There may also be places where you can put monsters to use, but that's for another time. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake ventures onto Nintendo Switch November 14th. Yeah. Pre orders、okay. begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Three Castlevania games are、oh. originally released on the Nintendo DS system Dawn of Sorrow. That's awesome. Portrait of Ruin. All right, I know Gables is happy about this one. Rise again in a single collection. Arcade classic Haunted Castle is also included. Featuring the original and a reimagined version. Plus, there's a gallery that includes exclusive art and a music player. Castlevania Dominus Collection launches on the Nintendo Switch system later today. Ooh, man. What a. That eShop is wild today. I think barely loads as is. It's gonna, the whole thing's gonna go down. The series returns with Sid Meier's Civilization VII. Rule as one of many legendary historical figures, including newly added leaders such as Queen Himiko. Friendship is her strength, and <laughs> she can initiate diplomatic endeavors that help you research new technologies, expand your territory, establish your empire across the map, and conquer or cooperate with rival civilizations. You can even create your own path through history by choosing different civs with each new age. In the modern age, you can evolve your empire into Meiji Japan, known for its scientific strength and military force. Plus, you and your friends can see your kingdoms collide in online or local play. Can you create an empire that stands the test of time? Turn the page on a revolutionary new chapter when Sid Meier's Civilization VII launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 11th.、Cool. Pre orders are available cool, 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 now cool, cool, cool. on Nintendo eShop. Forge Bonds Transcending Time. Celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Tales of Anime of games with a remaster of the action RPG Tales of Graces F. When the protagonist、huh. Asbel and Prince Richard meet Sophie as children, we will always be friends. The three soon become lifelong friends. Several years have since passed. With their strong friendship and desire to protect their loved ones, the now grown up trio get entangled in a conflict that will determine the fate of the world. This remaster adds enhancements like destination icons and toggling enemy encounters, as well as downloadable content from the original game. That's cool. What was this originally on? I'm trying to remember what. I don't even remember Tales of Grace. Tales of Grace's F Remastered launches on Nintendo Switch January 17th. Is it like a, two is it a PS2 maybe? Adventures, one cozy bundle. Okay, yeah, this one leaked. I think we're getting pretty close to the end here. 
Yeah, we've got five, six minutes left, probably. I'm going to say, the, uh, the Indie Direct, I thought, was much stronger. It went a lot faster, I thought, and there's a lot more, like, really cool banger games in here. Like, it's kind of this partner one. It's kind of, I don't know. It definitely always kind of depends on, like, what you're interested in, but it also does help. A lot of these games are, like, some of these games are already, like, on other consoles, or they're coming to other consoles as well. Just uh, shows you how great indie games have been, though, the, 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 like, really for a long time now. But this year, it just feels like they're on another level. The cozy bundle. Okay. All right. More help is wanted. Okay. Think you've got what it takes to manage this perilous pizzeria? Test your skills. <laughs> and your Some reason I was thinking it was Friday night at Freddy's. I don't know why. As the newest employee of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, you'll have plenty of job duties, such as helping performers prep for a show in the Pizzaplex Salon, getting high scores by playing nostalgic arcade minigames, and hopping on attractions like a log ride. Sounds easy enough, right? But you'll be doing all of this while avoiding animatronic atrocities along the way. Become a Fazbear Entertainment Superstar in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2. Launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. And if you're looking for more adventures in the Mega Pizzaplex, help Cassie find her friend and escape the ruins in this free story DLC for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Hmm. Launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. I'm surprised just how big this franchise is all these years later. Let's Even that movie was like really successful. Games launching in time for the holidays. Okay. All right, so we're at the scissor rail. Usually, we get to like I think the scissor rail is usually like the thing before the last thing. VR version of those Just Dance games? Because if they're not, I feel like they're definitely missing out. We already have a date for Fun Confusion. Why don't we say holiday? September, I believe. My life, for some reason, there's a part of me that just wants to play that Funko game, even though it looks bad. I don't know. I, yeah, I at least want to check out that Shaun the Dead mode. Like, I'll pay five bucks just to let me play that mode. And the, look at the date of that LEGO Rise Adventures leaked last night. November 14th, I believe. Like, there was like a, a shop put up the date and then quickly took it down. What the hell is that? To the eastern nation of Azuma. Oh God, it's that anime. Stuck, the energy sources. Farming simulator. Yep, that's from factory. Okay, yeah. And the land fell into decline. In this fresh take on the Rune Factory series, step into a bigger adventure than ever before. As an Earth dancer, you'll channel the spiritual powers of nature through dance. Use the sacred drum to help crops grow faster. And the sacred parasol. Not feeling great, guys, about Silk Song. Not, not feeling great about it. Treasures and your Earth Dancer abilities can revitalize the land. Restore this once fruitful region to cultivate fields, construct houses, and more to revive nature and establish prospering villages. Venture through the enchanting lands of Azuma, but beware. Monsters may lie in wait. Harness your Earth Dancer abilities to confront them and restore certain monsters to their human forms. As you settle into village life, get to know the community around you and deepen your relationships to find friendship or even romance. Who knows? A wedding could even be on the horizon. 
experience a beloved series reimagined. In Rune Factory, Guardians of Azuma, launching on Nintendo Switch next They all just kind of blend in after a while to me. So many farming simulators. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Silk Song. Silk Song. Fuck. Immerse yourself in the story that started the epic saga in Yakuza Kiwami. Meet Kazuma Kiryu, a Yakuza accused of murdering his clan's patriarch, and Haruka, a young girl on the run. Two individuals whose fates intertwine. God damn it. Kamurocho, Japan's largest entertainment district. Kiryu must navigate the twists and turns of Tokyo's underworld while confronting rival gangs. Swap between four fighting styles in real time combat. Fight bare knuckle, or arm yourself with makeshift weapons and go up against anything in your way. There are also plenty of distractions to be found in Kamurocho. So take a break from brawling every once in a while. Discover how the epic series began. Well, at least we got a really good when indie Yakuza world. Kiwami that was pretty cool. Nintendo Switch I thought this partner showcase, I mean, when that's usually the case with partner showcases, is they're kind of lackluster, I think. That's all for today's um, Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, I thought, like I said, the indie world was actually really, really good. I thought there was like a ton of great games looking out of there. Um, a lot of shadow drops, which is awesome. Uh, we got a date for Marvel vs. Capcom, which is cool. Um, Gables doesn't go nuts over that Castlevania collection. Um, yeah, but I, I really thought that that last like 20 minutes really dragged, I thought, with the partner showcase um, overall. Um, yeah, like indie, it just shows you how great indie games have been uh, this year. So if you guys are um, looking for games to play, you know, and the, the AAA stuff isn't doing it for you. There's a million indie, indie games coming out, especially just today alone. It felt like there was like five or six right there, so... Uh, yeah, uh, I thought, oh, yeah, I thought overall that, like I said, the indie world was really, really good. Um, I really enjoyed that one. I'd give it like an eight out of 10 probably. Um, and then that part of showcase, I'm like, it's like a six out of 10. So I feel about a five out of 10, maybe even, um, just, I get why they do it. They had to do it. They pay, you know, but they probably paid for some, um, you know, some marketing and stuff like that for it. But yeah, it's, it's just hard sometimes with those things. Cause it's usually like stuff we've already seen that's already out on other platforms, just coming, um, you know, over to the, the switch finally, or. Uh, stuff that we already know is coming. They're just confirming it's coming to Switch. So, um, yeah. But I mean, we got a couple cool, cool announcements out of it. But uh, yeah, I thought overall it was just whatever. Not too like just a couple of release dates, which is is great. But uh, yeah, I thought it was fine. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to this weekend. Uh, Gables and I will be breaking down this whole thing. Uh, I'm excited to see what he has to say. I'm sure he's pretty excited about you know obviously like the Marvel versus Capcom and um, the Castlevania stuff, which is which is cool. But uh, yeah, you guys like this? Please make sure you like. Follow, subscribe. We have we're all, we're all on podcast services as well, so uh, do all that. There will be a link down below for all those for Apple, Spotify, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. So if you can go up there, click on those things, leave a review, share with your friends, all that stuff. I really, really, really would appreciate it. Um, but yeah, we'll be back uh, this weekend with a brand new podcast. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your uh, was this a Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. Uh, love you guys.